integration by substitution. U is cos x plus 1 show that this integral is equal to e, e minus 1. Six marks. We can't be affording to uh, lose that. Super easy, mate. In fact, this integral here, we don't even need to do a substitution if they gave you the option. Uh, but because they do, might as well do it. Well, we have to do it. So the first thing you should always be doing with substitution is changing the dx into du. And we do that by differentiating. So we're going to get du by dx. Cos differentiates to minus sine x. And the reason we should always do this first is, yeah, you have e to the power of u. We're making that substitution. But what students do is they force substitutions. They figure out, okay, how do I change sine x into a u? Well, we'll change this x into u. And they just force all these substitutions. It's just a waste of time. They're doing these substitutions so things can cancel out. So we're going to swap these around. We get du divided by minus sine x is dx. And then we're going to do the limits. This is why it's six marks. There's just a bit more to do. Okay, so with the limits, when x is pi over 2, subbing into here, you get u is cos pi over 2. Remember, all calculus is done in radians. Cos of pi over 2 is 0 plus 1, 1. Then we're going to sub in 0. Uh, cos o plus 1 is 2. Now, the a mistake students make here is they say, look, I'm going to put 2 up here and 1 down here because they say, okay, the top number should be the bigger one. That is correct, but don't do that just yet. When x is pi over 2 u is 1. So I always explicitly write the u values here. Yeah, we get e to the power of u, then we have sine x, then dx, we're changing into du over minus sine u, uh, minus sine of x. Now the sine x is cancelled. This is why I was saying at the beginning, do not force any substitutions. Now, this is the most important part of the next step. That minus, when you times a function by negative, you're essentially changing the direction in which you're reading the graph. This minus means you're actually reading the graph backwards, which is why the limits are the wrong way around. All you do is get rid of that minus and you can flip the limit. So it's 2, 1. That goes and we're left with e to the u du. e to the u integrates to e to the u between 2 and 1. So we get e squared minus e to the power of 1, which is just e. Then we can factorize out e. And then we're left with e minus 1, and that is proved. Now, if you guys want to see me do even harder problems, then head over to my YouTube channel, Neil Does Maths. The link is in the bio. Add this to your playlist for integration, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.